Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to A Dose of Reality. TGIF. Alright, so it's another week down and you can't even begin to understand how happy I am that this week is over. Um, this week, there's no other way to put it, was the week from hell and it can go back from whence it came. Um, I'm just happy that the weekend's here. Tomorrow is actually my class reunion and I'm oddly excited about it. I don't know about you guys, but um, just I'm excited. It's weird. Can I see people I haven't seen in quite some time because I basically left school, high school, and moved away and rarely ever go back. So I'm excited to see some people I haven't seen in a very long time reconnect in person instead of just over the internet because, you know, that's kind of lame. Um, as I sit here and talk to you guys on YouTube. But um, anyway, I'm really excited about that, but that is not the topic of today's video. Today's video topic is FCS, Fortune Cookie Soaps, uh, Fall Subscription Box, and it is Old Hollywood is the theme for this one. I'm really, really super happy that they did not do another movie themed box. The last four boxes I know have been movie themed, so that kind of got a little old for me. Um, so I'm really glad that they went with the more broad spectrum, you know, old Hollywood. That's pretty broad, um, topic wise. So let's dive into the products. I actually have two boxes because I get one and Matt gets one. Um, if you notice there's some change in the lighting going on right now, it's because he's playing video games and, um, that's kind of what's going on right now. So I apologize for that. Hopefully it doesn't throw anybody off too much. I'm just going to keep on going with, uh, the video. Um, so let's just go on. Um, I'm not really going to go in the order of the card. I'm just going to pick the products I feel like showing at that particular moment or whatever I pull out of the box. So, but I'll read you the sent descriptions and I will give you my rating and I'll try to keep the video kind of short. Right. Cause I'm good at that. Okay. So first thing I'm pulling out of the box is the hand sanitizer, the OCD hand sanitizer and it's glitz and glamour. Now this does have, it looks like glitter, but it could be mica shimmer in it. I'm not really positive. So if you don't enjoy glitter on your hands, or if you are a man who does not enjoy glitter, uh, don't use this, but I enjoy glitter. So I will use this glitz and glamor OCD hand sanitizer. Put it on classy, take it off trashy. Uh, wet moss, polished woods, creamy vanilla. That's the scent for this. Um, for those of you who don't know the hand sanitizers, um, they're called OCD hand sanitizers and I believe they do make a donation for everyone that's sold to some foundation that, um, helps with people who do have OCD. I believe I read that on their website. So that's pretty cool at least in my opinion. Um, so let's see how this dries down. Um, and I don't, as I'm just like shoving my hand in my nose, I get the vanilla. I really do get the vanilla. I don't get so much like wet moss and polished wood, which doesn't really disappoint me because I'm not so sure how that would smell, but I get vanilla. So, um, I mean, I don't dislike it. I'm just not really sure where wet moss and polished woods comes into the whole mix of the scent. So I'll use it for sure. Um, I just don't know. I don't, I don't know about the scent otherwise, but I, I like it. So that's glitz and glamour. Um, I'm gonna try to keep things in order here. Well, at least arranged sort of. Okay. Um, next thing I'm pulling out, this is the whipped cream and it's Tommy guns and baseball bats. And I'm showing you some of the packaging. They have cute little packaging right now and it's not really focusing on it, but um, I'll show you. And it looks like it's a greenish color. It looks like the whipped cream has maybe because of the heat. It looks like it's a little bit different texture this time around, uh, maybe because of the heat, but it, I'm not sure. It doesn't feel any different than usual, but this is supposed to be, oh, let me read it for you completely. Hey, that's not a violin. Famous last words. 
Grandma's hot apple pie dusted with friendly shaved cinnamon, nutmeg, and warm brown sugar topped with rich, creamy marshmallow fluff. Um, I don't like when I can't smell it in the container. Let me grab my hand. I feel like those small containers make it really hard. I feel like I just am going to like get it all on my nose and then you guys are just going to laugh at me. Um, not that there's, you know, nothing to laugh about because that would be pretty hilarious. Um, okay. I get, I can smell the marshmallow and kind of maybe a little bit of brown sugar-ish. Not really any of the cinnamon, which is good because I know last fall box there was like really heavy cinnamon stuff and that didn't react well with so many people's skin and stuff. So I don't get the apple pie though. So that's kind of disappointing, but it's not a bad smell. Again, it's, it's pretty good, but I get mostly the marshmallow fluff, which is again, a little strange because I'm picking up like the last part of the scent note, which is usually like the smallest of like the concoction, so to speak. That's a weird word to use, but it's usually the smallest part of it. So um, I'll give you my final ranking on everything at the end, because I don't want to list what my favorite products are and then come down to another one and find out it's actually my favorite at the end. Um, I'm just going to start pulling other things. This is Famous Wax Tart. You're a star, at least to us. Warm Amber Wild Orchid, Fluttering White Cotton, and Sun-Dried Herbs. This has a lot of glitter on it. Uh, my warmer is going to have to be cleaned pretty thoroughly after this, but I'm not disappointed about it, and it is otherwise pink. I hope you can see that. Sorry if I'm blinding you with the reflection. I'm not taking this out of the package because I will have glitter everywhere. Um, but I will smell it. Oh, and glitter just <laughs> fell out all over me anyway. Um, it definitely, it, ooh. That might give me a little bit of a headache. I don't know if I can use this. And that's just because that certain scents are really strong and, and play with my, my migraines and stuff. Um... I get the orchid and maybe some of that amber coming through really strong. And that orchid really comes through heavy. Um, it's a very powerful floral. I don't get the cotton so much. Maybe, maybe it's an after scent. Um, I'm going to stop sticking my nose in it because I'm giving myself a headache. Um, this may be one that I can't use and I might have to, you know, offer this up to somebody as a trade or, you know, something because unfortunately it might smell very pretty and I feel like since it is so strong just like this it might make my entire house smell very very pretty but I might be suffering very much with a migraine after that um, and that's nobody's fault it's just my stupid head so all right moving along um, we're three products in I'm going to grab four this one is American Royalty, and it's Promade, or Promade, however you want to say it. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Let me show you the package for that. And it's just tiny because it's a little trial size. Um, rose milk, thick honey, and warming tobacco blossom wrapped with caramel and notes of mandarin. See website for directions. So it's just a little wax. And... Um, it doesn't, mm, I mean, it does have a smell to it. It's, yeah, I get, I get the scents that they're saying are in it. I don't know that I would personally use it myself. It's kind of a, I can see it being a gender neutral kind of scent, um, leaning more towards masculine though than, than neutral. Um, I can see Matt using this. I can see him using this. Um, I don't think I would. I mean, come on now. Hair. I don't think I would be using this. But I like that this is a new product. And I like that they're including new products in the boxes for everyone to try. So, and I like that they're trying to target, you know, more guys to trying their products. So, hey, A for effort. And I hope it works out. So, next is shampoo bar and to my knowledge I don't think they've ever included a shampoo bar in 
the monthly boxes or the quarterly boxes, I should say, before. So this is really exciting. And this is Hollywood Dreams Shampoo Bar. Yes, no, focus. Okay. Um, it's not always what it seems. Imagine that. Fall is in the hair. Brown sugar, dusted graham crackers, fresh churned apple butter sprinkled with nuts and a hint of maple. And again, see directions on website. Um, I've used these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Matt's used these a bunch of times as well. I love the way this one smells. Love, love, love. Matt's already called dibs on it. I'm okay with that. Um, I have other things that I've been using in my hair besides shampoo bars. Sorry, SCS. Hate to, hate to say that out loud on my videos, but I have other things that I've been using in my hair. Um, but Matt's been using the shampoo bars and they've been doing really good stuff to him. So he's already called dibs on this. I'm not going to fight him on it. You can have both of them. Um, but I may have to order more in full size um, in this scent because it does smell wonderful. So that'll be good. Uh, that I really do like. I really love the smell of that one. Um, so next is we're coming to the nearing the end of the box. Scandal bath powder. I'm not addicted. I just like the smell of it. And um, I laughed when I saw it in the package because, I mean, if you turn the bag this way, I'm just going to let all you all you adults out there just use your imagination. That's because mine was in the box kind of like this. I couldn't see the, the label. I was like, what on earth? And um, so it says creaking woods, windblown leaves, and twisted rose thorns. Add entire bag to bath and enjoy. And um, I definitely get a lot of that kind of woodsy and blown leaves kind of scent to it. It's not strong in the bag. What I feel like will happen though when you dump it in your bath water, I feel like it'll really, with the agitation of the water, it'll really kind of open up those scent notes and everything because it does, you get a, a nice little subtle hint of it. But I feel like um, I've had their bath powders and their bath salts and things like that before. And when you put them in the water and everything starts to, you know, work through the tub, it does open up a lot more. Um, next, we have Pearls and Girls. It's perfume oil. I love the little packaging this time around. Um, diamonds are a girl's best friend, but he always wants to give me a pearl necklace. Oh, well. Crushed and distilled vanilla creeping with wild jasmine and a splash of juicy pear. Y'all know me. You know I love jasmine. So this needs to be good. It needs to be good. Um, the packaging has already like got me just about sold. Um, I think this is one of the cutest things that they've ever done packaging wise. Um, not only is it not just a plain little glass bottle, um, it's a sprayer and it's cute. It's decorated. So I'm not worried about carrying it around. Um, so let's see. And it sprayed an awkwardly large amount on my wrist. Awkwardly, awkwardly large amount. And you're not really supposed to tap your wrists together because that bruises the scent. But there's really no... Oh, and I got overspray on my camera. That's fantastic. Um, but you can see my wrists and my, it's dribbled up onto my hands. They are awkwardly wet. It, it was an awful amount. And I didn't even spray it the whole way down. Um, so, caution for you guys that have it and haven't used it yet, just barely touch it and it will give you enough. But the smell of it is definitely what I was expecting and it's definitely what I like. Um, I get the jasmine, I get a little bit of that vanilla coming through. Um, I don't really get, I don't really get pear, maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit um, as it's coming through. My body definitely picks up on the jasmine, though. I think that's why I like it so much. Um, but it's definitely, um, it's definitely what I was looking for. I like it. So the last thing, and I always say this for last, is the cookie. Um, this is the one. Now, I'm going to show you the, both of the cookies, and there's a reason for it. And I promise you it's a decent reason. So um, the cookie is dressed to kill, and uh, it's drop-dead gorgeous. Uh, dribbles of mulled red wine swirled with dark rich vanilla and cut apples and a dusting of spice. 
And of course, I'll read my, my fortunes to you then. So this is the one that I got in the box that I just pulled everything out of. And when I smell it, I honestly only smell vanilla. And that's all I get. I don't get any of the other, the mulled red wine, the, you know, apples, the spice. I don't get any of that. I get vanilla. And it's not just because of the things that I have on my hands right now. This is what I got last night when I smelled it as well. This is the cookie that I got in the other box. There's a very big difference in color. Very big. This one is brown. This one is like a nice golden color. This one, when I smell it, I get spice. And I get a little hint of vanilla. And I get a little hint of apple. I really don't get that red wine smell, but I get mostly spice when I smell this one. I don't truly know what color the cookie is supposed to be, if it really matters, if it's supposed to be this or this or some version in between. I've seen pictures where someone posted on, theirs on Instagram, theirs was even lighter than this one. Um, and then I've seen people commenting that theirs smelled almost like a dryer sheet. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to truly smell like because I have two that smell completely different. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like this smell, if I'm not going to like this smell, because I don't have anything that's consistent. Um, as for the cookies themselves, they're made beautifully. I mean, they're, they're, they are gorgeous cookies, but scent wise, there was something not quite right about the batches of scent that was mixed up. Um, but that's just something that happens, I guess. So the fortune from this one is, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn, which is everyone knows. And if you don't know this, then we need to talk, is Gone with the Wind. And then, let me put that one back in there so I don't lose it. This one is, you're going to need a bigger boat, which is the classic Jaws. So that is my, I guess, little first impression of Fortune Cookie Soaps Fall Box for 2015. I hope you all liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Oh, I almost forgot to rate everything for you. Sorry about that. I will make it very, very quickly. My, quickly, very, very quick. Sorry, English people, learn it, use it. Uh, my favorite product by far, hands down, is the perfume, hands down. Um, that is five out of five in my book. Um, at this point, uh, the I'm just going to go down the list. The cookie, um, I, I can't really rate. I, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. I don't. Um, neither of them, to me, that I have really smells very good. Um, they don't smell bad, but they don't smell very good. Um, so I can't really rate that. I apologize. The hand sanitizer, um, based on it just smelling like vanilla. I like vanilla, so that's good, but scent description wise, it's not really there. Um, and so I can say maybe a three out of five for that. Uh, the Tommy guns and baseball bats again, they're too based off of scent description and everything. Like I love their whipped creams. I love them, you know, but based off that scent description and everything, I can probably give it maybe a three, maybe a two, two or a three. It depends. I get a lot more marshmallow and that's really about it. So it's a very light scent. Um, the Scandal Bath Powder, once I use it, I will probably rate it higher. Um, right now, I can probably give it a four. I might be able to give it a five once I actually use it. Um, I said the perfume oil is getting a five out of five for sure. The shampoo bar, I'm sure is a five out of five based on scent and then probably based on use as well. Um, the, the pomade, I'm not really sure. I've not used it based on smell, like I said. Um, it's kind of, I'm not going on preference of smell. It goes, it matches with the scent description. 
So based on that, I would say probably a four and a half out of five. And the famous wax tart, if it didn't drive my nose crazy, I would love it. So again, there too, excuse me, probably about a four out of five. So the whole box is a really, it's a really good box. Um, I noticed the theme seems to be vanilla scent um, for this box. So if you don't like vanilla, you're not going to like the box. I apologize, um, even though I had nothing to do with it. But if you don't like vanilla, you won't like the box. So just wanted to let you guys know that. So now officially I am done with this video. And if you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Don't ever miss a dose of reality ever again. Um, I will be back tomorrow with Spotlight Saturday because I have just so many other awesome things to review and I can't wait to do it. So when I'm done with my reunion, I will be posting my Spotlight Saturday. So look for that tomorrow. Find me on Instagram and Twitter. I am Brie51687. I would love to interact with you in those ways and I will be back tomorrow. Bye guys.